Narito ang press statement ni E.J. Obiena tungkol sa issue. As we all know, we live in a world full of fake news, rumors, and gossip. As a disciplined athlete in a very measurable sport, I prefer to deal in facts. So what I'm going to do is share with you eight simple facts, and the facts paint a very clear story. Fact 1. It is true I have received a letter from the so-called Investigating Committee of Patafa regarding the forwarding of coaching payments paid to myself and intended to be paid to my coach, Mr. Vitali Petrov. Fact 2. I also received a letter from Patafa on parallel timing, even earlier, accusing me of de facto stealing the money intended for Mr. Petrov. Nobody asked me any questions. Nobody asked for clarity or supporting documentation. They just leveled the charges against me. This runs counter to any principles of justice which assert innocent until proven guilty. My own federation comes after me with pure aggression, no benefit of the doubt, and with intent to destroy my reputation. If the objective of a sports federation is to destroy and demoralize an athlete and undermine their performances, then this is a textbook example of how to achieve this. Fact 3. These letters assert they have signed affidavits from several people, including Mr. Petrov. I would encourage the press to shine a light on this. No such letter exists. This is fraud, pure and simple. Ask Patafa to produce such a document. They cannot. For an organization that professes to uphold honesty as a principle, the irony and hypocrisy is nothing short of shocking. Fact 4. I have all proof of due payments to Mr. Petrov being paid before any of this. I have a signed document from Mr. Petrov that he sent to Patafa asserting this fact. I will project the letter now onto this screen. You will hear a statement from Mr. Petrov in a few minutes. Fact 5. I have engaged a PricewaterhouseCoopers auditor to provide an independent third-party audit of the entire question of payments made to me and disbursements out. I will publish this audit in the public domain for all to see. I will show that every single centavo is accounted for and all was paid by myself. I wait a bright light shining on this situation because I have nothing to hide. Fact 6. I studied electrical engineering. I did not study accounting. I admit some of my liquidation paperwork was submitted late and sometimes are in sloppy fashion. I am a pole vaulter, not a corporate accountant. I am alone in trying to handle all this in a foreign country. I have requested many times for my coaches and team to be paid directly. I have no desire to play middleman, but this has been refused somehow. I have not always handled the paperwork well, and I am sorry for this. But to take this fact and suddenly construe false accusations of theft and embezzlement is beyond honest or principle. It's a disgusting abuse of power and in itself a criminal activity called slander and defamation of character. Fact 7. The only thing I own in my life is my reputation. This entire incident has damaged my reputation and is now forever a part of my history. It is all false and I welcome any court of law to shed light under the power of evidence to investigate this matter. I have also filed and filing formal complaint with the POC, IOC, and World Athletics. As we are now talking slander and defamation of character, I have retained legal counsel and I do not intend to pursue this vigorously. Fact 8. The only resolution to this situation now is a full and public withdrawal of the investigation and a full public apology from the authorities involved in this. If this does not happen, I will consider my other options 
being an immediate retirement from sport in the Philippines and they return to school as much as I believe there is more for me to achieve. I am also evaluating other options in the field of sports which I may or may not disclose at a later date. I will not continue to operate under this kind of situation. I am unable to focus and to train properly with this hanging over my head. As I said, if you want a textbook example of how to destroy an athlete, you are seeing it right here and now. I welcome a full and open accounting. I have nothing to hide. I am an open book. I will now turn it over to Mr. Petrov for his statement, and then we are happy to take questions. Signed, November 21, 2021, Ernest John Obiena. Atin pa pong hinihintay ang statement ng patapa tungkol sa issue.